hello all we are discuss a lot in 3d using uh, ogre 3d api and uh, here we are going to discuss accessing keyboard fine uh, here at first we have a class uh, access keyboard inheriting base application as base class after that this is the constructor destructor create scene is the pure virtual function of base class uh, again redeclared here and uh, this is the key press pressed uh, function uh, again overrided function of uh, base class the unique parameter is this uh, that is OIS key event and uh, we are basically going to discuss this one for accessing keyboard fine as general and uh, previous tutorials we have point light directional light and spotlight functions uh, set camera function to set camera uh, create a sphere and create a theme to create models few uh, pointer type variables of ogre light class uh, I had de uh, declared uh, ogre entity instance pointed instance for a theme and ogre scene node pointed instance for the same theme node <coughs> these are few boolean variables uh, to switch on and switch off our lights that is point light direction light and spotlight and uh, now let's see in zip file we have constructor <coughs> destructor point, point light and uh, as these uh, boolean variables are true point lights will be created and when it's get false it get false it will uh, this segment will never be executed fine the <coughs> parameter bullet parameter of uh, this point light function is used to switch on and switch off the lights and uh, same with directional light and spotlight <coughs> this if else is for switch on and switch off the lights fine we had set camera fine uh, we had created a thin mesh we had created sphere <sighs> then this is create scene method and here at first we are uh, initializing uh, ambient light or setting ambient light to this to our scene and then we called we call a set camera function and after that we had created theme and sphere fine now uh, this key pressed function is somewhat like a pipeline function or you can conclude it as uh, callback functions whenever you uh, press any key or you enter any key from keyboard this will be executed and the uh, <coughs> sky code not exactly x code but uh, somewhat uh, like a unique identification number uh, in reference of OIS in Ogre 3D API will be called uh, as its parameter on that behalf this macros get equated and so the uh, 
whichever the case is satisfied the function regarding that or uh, the statements regarding that will be executed so uh, for point eight uh, I had set P for spotlight S directional light D and uh, X to uh, switch off point light uh, Y to switch off directional light Z to switch off spotlight yeah R is for I had taken R to rotate ethin mesh in uh, Y axis uh, actually I want to rotate a thinness uh, in respect of y axis in our 3d world so it is for that and V to rotate reverse a thin mass in uh, in respect of same axis that is why in our 3d world T is for uh, translating our camera position in uh, Z uh, axis uh, T is for positive Z axis that is uh, away from your site and in uh, or concluded as positive Z axis concluded as uh, uh, into the screen movement into the screen uh, whereas G uh, which is uh, again concerned with uh, camera position and uh, its negative Z uh, concluded as away from the screen and moving towards uh, your eyesight fine <coughs> as per previous tutorial we have the escape key to uh, uh, exit application but what I had done is uh, I had uh, done a bit change and I had set end key to uh, shut down our application or exit application so <coughs> let's uh, run it and let's see uh, what's going on Okay, fine. This is a thin mesh, sphere mesh, and uh, uh, camera with ambient light. Now I am pressing T and uh, want to move camera a bit closer to these models. Now I want to, uh, 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 I want some point light, so I am pressing P that is point light the effect of point light and then I want directional light that is D I had pressed T okay now I want some spotlight that is I'm pressing S fine again I'm I want to rotate I want to move a bit closer to in this thin mesh yeah it's looking good I think okay fine and now I want to rotate this thin mesh in clockwise anti-clockwise direction and now again in clockwise direction that is V okay fine that's all for now all the best catch you again